My name is Camilla K. Stanley and I'm a British, Polish photographer and director. Declaring Independence is a series questioning and piecing together European identity via portraits shot in the 27 member states of the EU. Initially, Declaring Independence began as a response to Brexit. I'm a British citizen, but I was brought up in different countries, like a lot of my generation. So I've lived in France, Spain, Portugal, Austria, and I think in a really unconscious way, I'd somehow always felt very European, but without even really questioning it. Brexit for me felt like this hybridity was shamed and very abruptly taken away from us. I felt like someone had really shattered a part of my identity and my right to call a place home. That's why I started this project, to untangle what being European really is. When Britain voted to leave the EU, far-right politicians celebrated it as Britain's Independence Day. So that's why I chose the title Declaring Independence to steal this phraseology and repurpose it. I guess for me, independence is the opposite of closing borders. Like, independence is the freedom to go out and write our own alternative narrative, kind of breaking away from the rhetoric of governments and institutions. I really wanted to go beyond conventional photojournalism with this project, and I kind of wanted to mess with something more creative and collaborative. So in each country I meet locals, I'm interested in people from different ethnicities, social backgrounds, different age groups, those who are often underrepresented by mainstream channels, so women, the queer community, racial and religious minorities, people with disabilities, elderly citizens. Um, yeah, I really try and incorporate the diversity around us and looking for more alternative opinions on the topic. The clothes are from emerging designers who are based all over Europe. And I also deliberately choose to include British designers whenever possible uh, as a way of keeping Britain creatively engaged in the dialogue. And before leaving to each location, I pack garments with me, but I also research the local art schools. And then I hunt down the recent graduates from the fashion degree programs. I feel that works really well because when you graduate, your work as a designer is particularly subversive and independent. And so I love delving into that sort of scene. So you end up with people picking outfits that have come from different countries and cultures and creating really surprising juxtapositions. Ultimately, it's about the image that he, she or they wanted to reflect about themselves and about Europe reclaiming our own narrative about what it means to be European. So basically this is a hybrid project, it's really at the intersection between social documentary and a fashion editorial. This is a picture of uh, Anaïs, she is an oyster farmer in a small town in the south of France where I actually grew up. In this picture, she is on her boat and she's actually wearing the kind of uniform that she wears to work, which is um, these blue dungarees. But we chose to accessorize that with a cape that was hand sewn in Paris by an emerging brand made by two young designers called Pangea. Some people went on to become friends, so like we went out afterwards and ended up spending whole days together. But in this case, this was quite um, a fast portrait because we were trying to grab the setting sun. This picture is taken in Paris in a neighborhood called Olympiade. So from left to right, uh, they are called Fares, Tessa, uh, Sosan and Yasmin. This picture is actually a collaboration with a British stylist, um, Phoebe Butterworth, and she brought with her clothes from British designers. For instance, Faris is wearing a uh, shirt by Adam Jones. Tessa is wearing a corset by Rosie Evans. But then, on the other hand, the flag in the background is by a French brand, uh, Pangea. The black blazer is by a Paris-based brand called La Fameuse. Yeah, it's really a mix, kind of like a patchwork of creatives from different countries, kind of interrogating what does it mean. Oh 
This is a portrait of Luma, who is a non-binary person in Vienna, in Austria. So he's wearing a dress by Paul Schoenauer, which is actually an Austrian designer. The handbag is by a brand called Ordained Hardware, which is a Hungarian brand. And the earring is by an Italian designer called Alessandro Santi. Austria and Vienna obviously has this really grandiose kind of imperialist past. So we decided to shoot this portrait in front of some like really old ornate fountains in the center of Vienna and kind of deconstruct this whole imagery of very grandiose architecture setting against a more alternative and kind of punk underground uh, scene which Luma kind of embodies really well as a person. When we shot this portrait, we were interrupted, um, homophobic passers-by and started shouting abuse at us because essentially we were taking pictures of somebody with a masculine appearance wearing a very flamboyant silver dress. Still to this day, the way we dress and the image we try to give of ourselves really is very deranging to a large part of the population. That's what I'm trying to do also with this sort of imagery to give people the freedom to choose how they want to be shown and what they want to wear.